Hi there, it's us again. My name is Joe. And I'm Odie. And together we're, we're Jody. Jody. Welcome to our adventure. In today's video, we're going to take you to my village of Balaghat in the township of Mayan, where Joe and I continue our first Philippine adventure together. I felt it was very important to take Joe to the house of my family, not only to meet the rest of my family, but to also experience living in a typical Philippine village. <laughs> yeah, I have to tell you, this video is especially close to my heart because I never experienced anything like this. This video is probably more about me than it is Odie and her family because it's actually me looking at Philippine village life through my eyes. Oh yeah, I did a lot of traveling in my life, but I never experienced anything like this. A different cultural setting where I actually get a taste of true Philippine life. I have to admit, I was pretty nervous, but knowing Odie, I sort of knew it would be fun and I also felt it would be a real learning experience as well. I found out pretty quickly how wonderful Odie's family is. All the love and acceptance they showed me. And of course, I learned pretty quickly how beautiful Filipinos are and why it's more fun in the Philippines. Yes, indeed. So, hope you have some fun watching this video as Joe tells his story and shares his experience, the village life in the Philippines. Hope you enjoy the video. Here we go. So in our last video, we left off where I met Odie's mom, Nanai, at the side road into their village of Bellygood. They then made me get into a wagon pulled by a caribou to their village. By the way, a caribou is also known as a water buffalo. It was really fun and I had a great time. Along the way I was greeted by people who lived near the road and I noticed that they watched in wonder and amazement as this goofy westerner riding in this wagon comes to visit their village. I feel so privileged, Dennis. <laughs> you have to walk? Why get a ride? Is it sugar cane? Or... Yeah. It's tall, eh? Hey, how can you see I'm going to I'm going to go to the church of our village. This is the church of your village, okay? We have two churches, two or three. Four churches. Hi, Papa! Go stop! Oh, stop! Rice field over there, and that is how this is our sugar Oh my god, that's huge. Yeah. And the, the coconut down there is the uh, boundary of our sugar cane on the other side. That's home. <laughs> Here we are opening the box from yeah. Canada. Wow. Ichi. Oh. <laughs> I learned very quickly that sending a box to family in the Philippines is a big event, especially when you load it with items that cannot be purchased there. While Odie and I were unpacking the box and distributing everything, I was able to meet Odie's sister, Diosa, and her cousins and nieces and nephews as well. <laughs> After
After an exhausting first day in the village, I was finally able to sit down and have a drink with the boys. I met Odie's two brothers, Benit and Onyo, for the first time. The next morning, I was so excited to do some exploring. I looked out the window to get a good view of the neighborhood, and then I proceeded to explore the house. Hey guys! So later that day, Odie decided she wanted to take me over to the school to meet some of the parents and teachers and to purchase some homemade food they were selling, I think for a fundraiser. supposed to mean to this day I could never figure out what that sign meant uh, but I'm sure the locals know what it means <laughs> oh my god, after all these years, I still feel like the great white whale. <laughs> This was the first time Odie took me to her father's mausoleum and I felt so honored. I really wish I could have met him when he was alive. <laughs> Oh, 
Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mí. Hi there. Big lunch for everybody. Everybody in the town. I gotta tell you, I never knew so many people would come to the big lunch. I met so many of Odie's relatives that made my head spin. Everyone was so friendly and seemed to be interested in where I was from. I'm sure a lot of them certainly didn't know what to make of this really weird, goofy Canadian. Hmm. Not sure what's going on here, but I think Maricel's husband Dennis has got the camera. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, this crazy family karaoke party was really wild and so much fun. This is where I found out it really is more fun in the Philippines. I also found out that Odie's brother Dennis is really the life of the party. Boy, I'll tell you, the Tanjue was sure flowing that night. Well, there you have it. My first introduction to Philippine village life. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed every minute of the acceptance, the friendship, and the love that Odie's family gave me. Now that Odie and I have been together for almost 12 years, married for 10, it's still the same when we go home to the Philippines. We have fun, 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 and we party, party, party. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you really liked it, give us a thumbs up. And please, don't forget to subscribe. If you really love us, and we hope you do, and you don't want to miss any future Jody adventures, hit that bell so you get notifications of all our upcoming videos. And remember, you're never too old and it's never too late for an adventure. See you soon.